Why do you need a good music system? Because playing your favorite music through a good music system, it can refresh and mend your soul. It can rejuvenate you when you feel tired or when you feel lost. It can also bring back memories that you have forgotten and create new ones. Hi everyone, Cece from Audio Excellence and Adrian with me on my side. Today we're gonna talk about sources. Oh, this is part two of Audio 101. And let's begin with how to choose a system. We will start with sources. Okay, so um, as we mentioned in the first part, a source is uh, where you get your signal from, your music. So it could be a phone. I'm assuming you already have your phone, so we don't have to go into why or which models of phone you should get. Um, then the other sources would be a streamer, um, a CD player, a turntable, a cassette deck, whatever it is. So let's talk about the streamers first. Um, so this would be an example of a streamer uh, right here. This is an iFi. Again, the guys will, will uh, come closer and take pictures of it later. But this is an iFi net stream. You connect it to your internet, and then uh, you download the app, and you can now connect your Spotify, your uh, Tidal, uh, whatever uh, music service you use, and then you connect this to your electronics, to your speakers, and away you go. So that's one example of a, of a streamer. Another one would be um, the very, very popular Blue Sound Node, which does virtually the same thing, except it's got a couple other things. For example, it's got a built-in DAC, which we will get to in a moment. Um, then, of course, you have a CD player and you have a turntable. So, do you want to go deeper into a streamer? Yes. Okay. So, I was curious about Blue Sound Node and the iFi. Okay. What are the differences? Right. So, fundamentally, they do the same thing. You connect it to your internet, it works like a tuner. Just like if you have a car, you, you get in your car, you turn on the radio, and you got AM and FM, you, change, you choose the channel you want, uh, and then you get the signal. With uh, both the iFi ZenStream and the Blue Sound Note, they are essentially radio stations. You connect it to your internet, and you choose the, the, the uh, program that you want, and you play it. Um, one major difference between the iFi and the Blue Sound is that the Blue Sound has a digital to analog converter built in. Now that's a big mouthful. What is a digital <laughs> to analog yeah, converter? Every digital product that you own that produces sound has a digital to analog converter. We're going to call it a DAC, D-A-C. What is it? It takes digital signals converts it to analog so you can hear it. Uh, so your phone, for example, is a digital device. It's got DACs built in. Your tablet, uh, your TV even has, uh, um, uh, certainly the newer ones, have DACs built in. The Blue Sound has a very decent DAC built in, so you can then immediately connect it to your receiver. The iFi, however, does not have a DAC. It only has a digital output, which means you must connect the output of the iFi to a DAC. Now, oh. most, most conventional, most contemporary receivers that you would probably be looking at have um, a digital input. So in other words, it has a DAC built in. So you don't have to worry about that. But if you wanted a better sounding DAC, then we can talk about that a bit later. So anyway, that's uh, the major difference between the two. Okay. What about their prices? Are they similar? Quite similar. In Canada, the iFi NetStream is approximately $599. Um, uh, Tristan and CC can double check. And then I believe the um, Blue Sound is six ninety nine Canadian. Now, of course, the, those of you watching in the U.S., uh, the price will be different. But these are Canadian prices. Okay, and then uh, we have the streamer, and then we have the, let's talk about turntable. Okay, so here we have an yes. example of a turntable. Yeah, you can just lift, yeah, there you go. Yeah. So uh, that's an example of a turntable. Their um, turntables range from pretty mild. You can, you can get them, for example, at uh, Costco in some cases. Uh, certainly in Canada, you can see them at uh, a very well-known store. At least they used to. I don't know if they still do. At Canadian Tire, you can buy them online, and many of them start at $199. Um, the better ones will cost a bit more. The, the most the one that I would highly recommend in terms of a brand would be a company called Project, P-R-O capital J-E-C-T. They make the, the largest quantity of good quality turntables from relatively affordable from about 400 and somewhat dollars all the way up to many, many, many thousands of dollars. And because of their 
huge volume, they can get you a turntable, a good turntable at a relatively reasonable price. So when I think of turntable, I always thought of those old ages and it's from uh, decades ago and it's vintage and when I came into the store we have all of these fancy and steel stainless steel looking turntable while well, I was really <laughs> surprised because I never this is, seen this is the prejudice that young people have <laughs> just because you're young everybody's old this is a problem <laughs> Anyway. <laughs> anyway, we have talked about turntable and now it's the what CD is player. It? CD player. Okay, right. so here's an example of a CD player. A CD player, many of you will know, and some of you young folks won't know, basically is a box. There's a drawer built in. You open the drawer, you pop a little disc into it, and on the disc, uh, on the silver side, are pits and those pits uh, have digital information there's a laser when when the, when the CD goes into the uh, into the box and it spins a laser is actually reading those pits that information and then it goes and gets converted by a DAC a digital to analog converter and then the signal comes out and that's where you get your music so that's what a CD player is do do people still use a CD player <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, yes, a CD player is um, wonderful. Um, I think in the last video we talked about, you asked the question, right. which has the better sound? And CD players still sound better than a streamer. So if let's say you, uh, your favorite music, um, let's, what's, what's, a, K, what's, a, what's a, a K-boy band these days? Who knows? What's it called? What, what's it called? Who are wh Big Bang. <laughs> Big Bang, okay. So let's say they make um, CDs available. And if you were to listen to that CD versus the streamed version of that same song, there's a very high likelihood that the CD player will sound better than the streamed version. And so when you start wanting better sound quality, um, a CD player is a good option. There are downsides, which is I'm sure the next question you ask. Mm -hmm. One of the downsides is that if you have a large collection of CDs, you have to find some place to put all your CDs. It can be a pain. And if you have bad eyes like me, you can't see the uh, writing on the spine of the CD. It's a pain in the butt. Um, whereas uh, streaming is much easier. So, uh, but if you want better quality, a CD player will give you that. Mm -hmm. And then what about a DAC? Okay, so let's talk about DACs. There are various qualities of DACs. Again, they're digital to analog converters. Um, they start, probably one of the most popular and successful is made by a company called AudioQuest. Um, they have a series called the Dragonfly. There's three in their um, DACs. Um, um, they start, I think, about $169 Canadian. And it, just think of it like a small, again, the guys will put uh, a picture in it so you can see what it looks like. It's a small little thing, literally about yay, yay long and only about this wide. On one end is a USB connection, and on the other end is a headphone connection. And with this little device, you can now get better sound out of your phone, out of your computer and uh, laptop and so on. So it's a really neat device. It even has a volume control built in. Um, so that's a DAC. And uh, as I say, they make three models up to about $449. So that's one example. Another example would be uh, iFi's DAC here. Mm -hmm. So this model is called the Zen DAC Signature. It's got a volume control in the front, and on the back are the connections. So it has USB and um, the connections to your audio system. Um, so again, typically when you connect your digital source to a DAC, assuming it's a good DAC, it will sound better. What do you mean by a good DAC? So mm. is it? That's a very, very uh, involved uh, answer. Mm -hmm. um, the the There are many different kinds of computer chips that they use, integrated circuits that they use inside a DAC. And um, that's one thing to look at. Now, having said that, just because you use a very, very good integrated circuit chip inside does not mean that it sounds good because there's other things that make the sound of a DAC good or bad. Unfortunately, that's a very deep topic. The simplest thing, however, to, to, to know if you're trying to figure out what DAC to buy 
if possible, listen to it for yourself. Uh, in a future video, we will go into a tutorial about how to listen and what to listen for. But for now, one way, of course, is look into the forums and see what people recommend. Um, uh, certainly very important, make sure that the connection that you use is available on the DAC that you want to buy. So for example, let's say your digital source happens to use a certain kind of connection called coax RCA. But the DAC that you end up buying has no coax RCA. Well, then you can't use it. So just make sure that it does have that. Mm. All right, so we have covered the, some of the types of streamers. Oh, no, not streamers, sources. Yes. And then uh, are we going to talk about speakers now? Um, I thought that would be the next one. Next one we'll do integrated amp or electronics and then speakers. But I think for this video, since we're primarily going to be focusing on sources, this is probably good enough. Yeah. All right, then stay tuned for our next video about speakers and amplifiers and electronics. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And everybody say Tristan is an idiot in the <laughs> comment box just because I like to give him a, a tough time. This is getting too long. We'll see you next time. Watch out for part three. All right. Bye for now.